This is a video review of the Parallax HB25 motor controller. Um, we have a 12 volt lead acid battery. Goes to the power input on the motor controller. Has a built in cooling fan with a big old nice aluminum heat sink. Your motor connects here. And this is a 24 volt scooter motor that I got from uh, allelectronics.com. I got another one over there. But they're 24 volts, but they'll also run off 12. So we'll run them off 12 volts because in order to run them off 24, I had to have a bigger motor controller, and the motor controller was about $149. This parallax one is 50, and it runs up to 13 volts. So we're going to go. It's going to be controlled with an Arduino Mega and it's going to go forward, backwards, and then pause. So let's go ahead and get this fan flipped over. Flip on the power to the motor controller. The Arduino is already turned on. And wait for it to kick on. It's spinning. Now it's going backwards. It's kind of hard to tell. Then it pauses. Forward. Backward. And it'll pause. I bought one of these mo one of these motor controllers for the big robot that I plan to build next. As you can see, we have Diode, if you've seen him in the first video. Diode uses the Adafruit as its motor controller to power its two DC motors, and this just wasn't big enough to cut these big motors. For the next robot, the next one is going to be a. It's going to use both. It's going to use this motor and this motor right here, which are pretty much the same exact motors. That's what's going to be powering the next robot, and. I'm going to have to buy another one of these HB25 motor controllers from Parallax.com, so if you're looking for an easy solution to control your motors, this one seems to be a really good controller, and it seems to be really easy to control off the Arduino. So anyway, stay tuned.